So okay, so my story is uh, Charlton versus Huddersfield, 1957. Okay, yes. again, this was a tough choice, but in doing this research for like what the great comeback, so I came across this and I was like, fuck, I have to talk about this. Okay, so yeah, let yeah. me paint a picture for you. Okay, so it's December 21st, 1957. Okay, it's the last game before Christmas when we all know miracles happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the last mm-hmm. game before Christmas. Um, Charlton versus Huddersfield. They're both in the vying for promotion at that point in the second division. So they are vying for promotion right now. And um, game begins. Um, uh, Charlton already go two nil down. They're two nil down, and then the captain of Charlton at that point, he actually has a dislocated shoulder. Ooh. So his shoulder breaks, and this is 1957 in the second division, right? So the concept of substitutes has not happened yet. Oh. So they are ten men now, mm-hmm. and there's no substitute, so they have to play this game with ten men. So ten men down, and he actually goes. His guy's name is Johnny Summers. Okay, not to be confused with that bald porn star. That's yes. Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins. <laughs> That's the other guy. Actually scores two one. Okay. Two one, and now they're feeling good about themselves. They're like, maybe we can achieve something. Boom! They get screwed for thinking that way because Huddersfield go in and they score three goals after that. Five one now, five one, and then they nick in one other consolation goal. Five two, and we are at five two with thirty minutes left. Charlton is five two down, and now Johnny Summers, not the pawn star. Comes in playing in a centre forward from left back, hits four goals <laughs> right after this in the span of 18 minutes. So they go from being five two down to six five up, and then with nine minutes left, Huddersfield score again. <laughs> so it becomes six six, and then we're down to the absolute last minute of the game, and they are like, okay, blow the whistle, referee, blow the, blow the whistle. This game is perfect as it is. He doesn't blow the whistle. They take a throw in, and with the last kick of the game, Charlton score again, seven six. Final final score. It's the was it only. Johnny Summers again? <laughs> no, it wasn't Johnny Summers this time. It was another guy. But at the but this thing has never been done. So never in English history has a team scored six goals to still lose that game. Yeah. And this was basically and this never happened again in history. But in 1960, you know what happened? Charlton, who won that game seven six, scored six goals again and conceded to go six six. Yeah, dude, this is crazy. Charlton, I've, athletic man. Yeah, I read this story and I was like, oh man, this is nuts.